when you make an oscillator for a classic old school radio uh, for instance a VFO variable frequency oscillator it's always a good idea to have the coil uh, with which the frequencies are generated mounted to one side on the chassis, the, the mass and that's often the minus, not always, but often that is the case but um, when you for instance mount the coil here in this kind of circuit in the collector lead one part of the coil, this part is not collected to the mass, to the minus, the chassis uh, to solve this problem I've made this circuit there are of course many other circuits with which this problem can be solved but this is one option to do take a PMP transistor I used in this case the BD140 PMP silicon medium power uh, transistor for both audio and high frequency applications to maximum approximately uh, 100 megahertz and when we col uh, connect the LC the tank circuit in the collector lead we can ground it here on the mass on the minus and that's very good for uh, VFOs in old school radios because in this case here we have the so-called hand effect when we touch the, the mass the axis from the variable capacitor our oscillator uh, drifts away from its original frequency because with your hand you have always um, a certain capacitive and resistive effect to earth I made this uh, circuit here to demonstrate this uh, principle this is the coil on the toilet roll well varnished with glue for uh, PVC glue polyvinyl chloride uh, uh, tubing very good to do it this way because uh, no moisture can enter into the coil wound it with plastic insulated wire from telephone circuits maximum uh, amount of turns approximately 100 or so or 80 and uh, here we see the PMP transistor and this coil together with this parallel capacitor here the green one is connected to earth when you take a variable capacitor of course the frequency will vary when you uh, turn the knob from the capacitor this is the waveform so quite pure and to make such an oscillator as I have drawn here work properly there are two secrets the first secret is this um, value from this resistor must be quite low I use 270 ohms and the second uh, secret is of course make the, um, the base uh, v uh, frequency sorry the base um, voltage divider consisting of this resistor and this resistor variable so with a variable uh, voltage divider at the base you can set this whole circuit to work when you use for instance fixed value resistors here uh, it takes perhaps a few days to find out when this oscillator works under which conditions but with this potentiometer here we can set a working point I have already explained that in many other um, uh, videos on YouTube and in my books and I want to demonstrate now the effect from a changing working point so this is stable stable functioning from this oscillator 
I change the working point and uh, the output level goes up and down but the waveform does not change and that's a sign that you have made a stable oscillator and also a secret from this uh, type of oscillator with uh, a coil in the collector lead is this capacitor this capacitor one nanofarad makes that the whole circuit works properly and um, this potentiometer here also gives uh, the right effects when this capacitor is not here there is a very small range on this um, uh, resistor, variable resistor where it works when this capacitor is mounted you have a broader range so you can set the oscillator much easier to its working point and um, the way uh, that it functions 20 turns for the coil up to 70 turns isolated wire can be copper wire with a lacquer layer on it I've used here plastic insulated wire works also very good and these frequencies are um, available with this circuit and with this coil and this capacitor parallel capacitor 140 kilohertz up to uh, 843 kilohertz and for the low frequencies I have put in this ferrite rod also interesting to show I put in the rod now and the frequency goes down and also the amplitude goes up and that's completely normal for this type of circuit so you can use all kinds of other coils here it doesn't have to be such a coil it can also be a very small one and when the coil has enough quality the whole circuit will function properly and it's useful for instance as a, a main oscillator, a local oscillator in an old school radio or a BFO also very uh, well usable for a, B, a beat frequency oscillator this circuit and the range could be for instance 455 kilohertz and that's the whole range where this circuit works